Hello, I'm Rubina Kodadin, artist, healer and spiritual guide here on Nadia's channel talking to you about cancer and more precisely um, the weaknesses and the um, and the remedies to the weaknesses. First of all, let me thank Nadia for uh, having me here and um, hopefully you'll find this video informative or at least enjoyable. <laughs> so. Um, it will apply to you if you've got uh, many planets in Cancer or if you've got a Cancer Sun, Moon, or Venus but even if you're, let's say, um, your south node is in Cancer that will also apply to you. Not so much Cancer rising not so much. So pick and choose whatever is um, relevant to you in the video and um, hopefully we can spend some nice time together. So the first, um, the first thing that we often associate as a weakness is the fact that we say cancer people are sensitive and that is true. <laughs> but sensitivity is a great thing isn't it so why is it a problem it's a problem because it sometimes is oversensitive and that can have repercussions in our life or in the life of with relationships with other people so kind of first business is a bit let's say oversensitivity it's also known that cancer people are quite emotional at least the emotions run deep so that means sometimes they can go from tears to joy or vice versa within a split of a second <laughs> it can happen so but if we think about it it's great to be emotional as in to to feel our emotions but when is it a weakness it is a weakness when it's kind of over the top over emotional i.e um, let's say you're joyful and then the single word the person says kind of shifts your mood to ultimate sadness so of course that becomes difficult the third thing that we often say is a protective protectiveness we often say that cancer people are overly protective it could be towards whatever children family or friends or even lover and um, but again protective is great because if you're protective that means you're loyal and what what more can a family of a, a child a, a lover want if you are being what more can they want than loyalty but again it becomes a weakness when it is kind of overly bearing and uh, of course these three weaknesses sometimes what happens is if we read about it we might see like other things like cancer people are insecure uh, cancer people are clingy but actually all these different other things that we read about they kind of stem from those three three attributes which I will be looking at in this video and these three attributes as I've just mentioned I've often said like okay this is uh, this is great but it is when it's over the top it's not so great emotional is great but when it's over the top it's not so great so we can see that actually those weaknesses are actually beautiful attributes if if they are balanced out <laughs> and this is where the niggly um, dilemma comes in because as cancer people we i say we because yes i am also cancer sun and south node in cancer so i know what i'm talking about uh, cancer people um, sometimes the question of balance is not so easy because as ruled by the moon mood kind of ebb there's the ebb and the flow and then there's also the ebb and the flow of the water which is um, um, the sign was cancer is ruled by water so that is where um, balance becomes kind of a the issue so um, how can we make those weaknesses a strength actually if we think about it they're already a strength because when you're sensitive that means you're sensitive to people that you care about to how they feel. When you're emotional, at, me, at, at least you can kind of know what your emotions are. When you are um, protective, that means you are kind of loyal. So 
the qualities are already there. My tips, there, my tips here for you is to make sure that uh, we prevent those qualities from slipping <laughs> and becoming uh, a weakness. So, um, I'll give you six tips. The first tip is to give to oneself what we give naturally to others. So, for instance, if you are somebody who will usually have pleasure cooking nice food only when you have your loved ones, then I suggest that you take the habit of also cooking some nice food even when you are, let's say, at home alone. If you're somebody who likes to, I don't know, make little presents for your loved one or once, then I suggest possibly occasionally you make yourself a little present. Because um, it is kind of difficult to expect from others what we give. And that's kind of human nature, really. We tend to give what we expect, right? So um, to kind of keep this sensitivity in check, is a little bit to give to oneself um, what is it that we give to others. When I say others, it could be loved one, but it can also be clients. So, for instance, I make like uh, healing meditations for my clients, right? Um, and they are usually specific to whatever they're going through at the time or whatever the healing is about. But for instance, have I made a healing meditation just for me? No. <laughs> haven't done it. So um, this is for instance where I can, um, I can make a step to give to myself what I give to others. For, that's just an example. And talking about healing meditations on my channel that will be linked up in the description box. Um, there are many healing meditations on, on, the, on my channel because I heal through the words that come through me but also through um, singing voice so make sure you, you look at that because some, one of the healing meditations I have um, is surrender. And the, that is a little bit kind of the second tip I have for you is that sometimes when we are too sensitive, we kind of want to solve the problems of others. Mm? And sometimes it is not up to solve what the other person's problem is. And that can sometimes make us like overbearing, maybe you've read about it that people say, oh, cancer people, they are overbearing, but sometimes it's just being too sensitive to other people's needs that can make us overbearing. So by learning to surrender a bit more, as in like, okay, there's some things I can't really do much about, that will help us. So this is a healing meditation on my channel, for instance. But beyond that, um, the question is, bringing in enough security because when inside of you you feel more secure you will be less um, hurt by like a, a word that has slipped off somebody's mouth that didn't person didn't probably mean it but there is a word a situation an action that kind of hurts you like hell so sometimes by building more inner security, then um, we become less um, uh, like a fuse. <laughs> so this is kind of another point. And again, you can go to my channel and, and look how we can build more security. I can't go in length here, otherwise it will be like a full on conference. But, um, but this is definitely a, a very important tip for cancer people, I mean, for most people generally, but for very sensitive people, that's a very important tip. The third tip is, doesn't come from me, it's a friend, a dear friend from London, who I say hello to if he's watching, um, who said to me once, uh, Rubina, keep your bulletproof jacket, <laughs> or wear a bulletproof jacket. Actually, I don't, as a, as a spiritual guide, I don't, like this word, a bulletproof jacket, means that I am going through life kind of thinking that things will happen to me. Whereas um, what I'm sort of inspired to kind of be and teach is to have an element of faith. But what he really means by this bulletproof jacket is this faith that maybe you have in whatever you believe in, let's say, um, is something that you maybe give to other people, new people, 
more in in bits not so much kind of putting all your trust and all your faith in one person all at once so learning to to kind of uh, build faith little by little in other people, newer people, let's say, or a new job, a new circumstance, or new whatever. So that will be a little bit like having a bulletproof jacket on. <laughs> because sometimes by being so focused on others, you forget um, that maybe you are just kind of over trusting. So the point is not being being um, skeptical. All the skepticism can be a good, a good, you know, a good quality to have. I'm not saying it's not good, but it's more about giving your trust little by little. And um, so it, I'm saying for not to give the whole focus, but sometimes that's not easy. Not focusing on other people because that's another cancer trait is to focus on the family, to focus on on I don't, I don't know like a partner let's say to focus on that because that is what is bringing in the nourishment let's say so shifting that focus sometimes is kind of interesting it's not so much sometimes i would say on a regular basis so um let's say i'll give you an example of a client and she said to me the other day uh, my partner i sometimes i feel totally i feel so unimportant insecure all the time because my partner is working a lot and uh, can't give me the attention and I think he's going for a burnout I think he needs more rest and all the time she was talking she was saying he needs more rest and he's going for burnout and he and he and he I just redirected the question I said uh, who are you focusing on and obviously she was focusing on him and his stresses so one of the things I suggested to her was to was if the relationship is something that is good for her that she wants that she wants to work through apart from having the dialogue with the partner is also to bring back her focus and to kind of look at what he's doing he's focusing more on his work maybe i can also give a little bit more focus to my work it doesn't mean that we're going to be in a competition it just means that i focus a bit of attention elsewhere whilst he's dealing with his own issues, for instance, or whilst we work out whatever we need to work out in our relationship. So bringing the focus elsewhere, which also is not so easy. This is where I give you the fifth um, tool, is to build a bit of creativity. Especially cancer people have got a lot of emotions. So building creativity will not only help with the emotions, but also help with changing the focus. And creativity is, is just like, it doesn't have to be like creating a song to give to the world, isn't it? Creativity, it can be so simple stuff. <laughs> Again, on my channel, there's a video I made about that, but, but it's, 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 you can be creative with, uh, with uh, just a, a box of matches, for instance. We can be creative with so much stuff, and that kind of changes the focus, okay? Um, and helps process the emotions, and this is the sixth and last point, is about processing the emotions. Because as much as uh, we might talk about balance, balance is not just in the mind, balance is in the heart. And if the heart is feeling lost, is feeling uh, upset so much all the time, then of course uh, just by focusing on where somewhere else is not going to work. It's also processing the emotions and uh, yeah, I'll get you to the channel to look at how to process. I made a long video about this and also made a video about fear, <laughs> which can be something that cancer people can feel without admitting it, right? Because insecurity, fear is very much linked together. So, um, um, okay, how fast is it to get all this in place? Of course, it's not fast at all, but you don't have to kind of put the whole six tips in a, kind of be perfectionist and, and put the whole six tips right in a go just now, but do uh, one thing at a time, little by little, and then this kind of balance will be around. So, um, um, yeah, of course, you can get in touch with me if you need a healing session. Also make 
also do um, healing paintings which are specific to you and your path and etc. So if you need to get in touch, the link is in the description box. Make sure you you um, you get um, to my channel and and um, subscribe and click the notification bell as well because I make many videos and um, I will say thank you to Nadia again and before I go let's say to all of us if you're watching this video at the time I'm making it to all of us a happy birthday <laughs> thank you bye bye